What's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Eric Duke II. I'm joined by Fed Hawk reporter Taylor Brook. We're here to talk about the Lady Lancers coming to this game hot. But they failed tonight to the second place team in the Hawking, the Eastern Lady Eagles, 51 to 36. Taylor, what happened in this game? Well, coming into the game, Eric, Eastern was obviously the favorite, but Fed Hawk was bound to make it a good game as they were coming in with a four game winning streak. At the end of the half, there was only a four point difference between the two teams. So, what did Fed Hawk do to keep the game so close? Well, Eric, Despite their struggles on offense, Fedhawk limited Eastern's ball movement and caused them to play out of control at certain points in the first two quarters, leading Eastern to be held to 20 points at the end of the half, which isn't like them. Now, Fedhawk lost by 15. How did Eastern pull away? One of the main things that Fedhawk failed to do was rebound. They were not boxing out as effectively, and this allowed Eastern to capitalize on easy second chance points. On offense, Eastern out-rebounded Fedhawk 9-2. Now, the Lancers, they have to bounce back against the number one team in the Hawking the Waterford Lady Wildcats, who are mm -hmm. also number one in the state. What does Federal Hawking have to do in order to pull off this upset? Fed Hawk ne definitely needs to be more physical on the boards and capitalize on offensive opportunities. They also need to give full four quarters of effort. Man, I the Lancers will pull off the biggest upset of the year if they're able to go in and beat Waterford. But thank you for being on with me. You can keep up with all of our content at wub.org slash heroes. You can follow us on Twitter at Harwood Heroes. You can follow your boy as well at Junior underscore three. Like us on Facebook. Go on Snapchat too. Be weird. Send us your snaps. We'll appreciate them. Thank you again, Taylor. We'll holler at y'all next time.